Hello, my name is Jeff Holliday, and this is an open letter completely unscripted to Congressman Peter DeFazio, 4th District of Oregon. I'm recording this on March 20th. It's a cloudy afternoon in beautiful Oregon, and I would like to, in one take, attempt to change the mind of the United States Congressman. None of this has been prepared in advance, and this is entirely a response directly from watching the footage that he shared on Facebook of his interview about genetically modified food and the efforts to label them in this state. Congressman, I don't want to insult you. You've been in service, public service, since 1987, at least in the House, and so I don't want to assume that you don't know what you're talking about. I think I know you know exactly what you're talking about and that you are choosing to govern by means of popularity and to represent your constituents. And I can respect that to an extent because ultimately you are a representative of the people. However, when you accept a responsibility to try and lead people to guide them in a way you should be doing so with wisdom to govern is not simply to echo the most loudest voice in the room to govern means to lead to govern means to to choose the the best course of action for the people that you have taken upon yourself to take care of and in this way, I feel that you have grossly misstepped in the direction of genetically modified organisms. The reason I feel this way is not because I'm against labeling. I really don't have that big of a problem with labeling. However, the initiatives in Oregon to get labeling do not represent anything like the countries which you yourself actually tried to bring up as, as a talking point in your interview those labels are on the ingredient packages in those European countries, the ones that the, say, Measure 92 wanted were nothing like those labels at all. It will cost more than what you are claiming, and even if it didn't, a, per, a what, two-thirds, one-third of, of a cent per day per shopper? There's a lot of people in Oregon. To say that that's not a lot of money is preposterous especially when you start to think about our crumbling infrastructure and our abominable, abominable education system. Yet, we're going to do this based on a science, <laughs> an immense amount of pseudoscience that can be disproven by just simply vetting your sources. There is more Mr. DeFazio, of a scientific consensus on the safety of genetically modified food than there is on climate change. Yet you yourself have no problem actually stating that there is a scientific consensus for climate change, so we should fight for climate change. If for climate change, why not genetically modified organisms? My problem is not with that you want to label something, because you want to label something because it's popular. And I understand that. It's very sexy. I get it. My problem is, is that while we here in America have an amazing access to food, that we have our ability to choose what kind of food we want, and we already have a label that you can guarantee you're not going to eat anything genetically modified, and it's called organic. Why we need two labels for that? Don't really know. But we have all this access. We have nothing to worry about. We have no concerns or worries about where or how we're going to eat. Even the most desperate of us has access to food banks and charity. Yet, the same rhetoric that is being pushed and regurgitated by scientific, pseudo-scientific sources, celebrity health experts with no credentials whatsoever and no actual education, this rhetoric that they espouse, it doesn't stay in the United States, Mr. DeFazio, it echoes around the world. And it causes chemophobia, fear. It causes fear. When you echo bad science, you are creating fear. And that fear can lead people to do 
ridiculous things like try and destroy a genetically modified tree production in Brazil that's trying to make it more ecologically friendly or to destroy efforts to feed the half a million children that die every single year from vitamin A deficiency. These people don't have access to the same kind of information that we do. They can't vet their sources. But they hear this line of rhetoric that you are helping. And they go and they stunt efforts, life-saving efforts that people are trying. So it might not mean anything to you at the end of the day. But elsewhere in the world, people will suffer the more we battle science and the less we represent a positive intellectual honesty and encourage scientific literacy. So I implore you, Mr. DeFazio, to not govern simply by consensus, but with wisdom. Seek out individual voices, experts in their fields, scientists. You can do this. This is what you're getting paid for. And listen to them. Don't listen to me. I'm just some goofy hippie kid who happens to be in your district, one of the constituents that you're talking about. Don't just listen to me. Go seek out the experts. But for the love of God, stop listening to concerned parents. Being worried and having children does not validate your opinions. Thank you.